to me, Emmanuel, it seems Case Keenum's in more of a rhythm than all year long, that he looks like that quarterback we saw on a magic carpet ride with Minnesota last year over the last couple of weeks. Uh, how would you assess that? Yeah, he's definitely finding his own, and uh, it, it, I'm, I'm happy for him because I know um, all the early hours, um, him getting here and all the late night study and all the study he does, he's finally starting to get a grasp of the offense and a uh, grasp of his playmakers and what our strengths is and what our weaknesses is. And Bill Musgrave and him are coming together and creating some good game plans. I watched the game and I, was, I told my wide receivers coach, I said, man, that play looks good. And that play looks good. We're just running great plays to uh, get guys open and, 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 Philip Lindsay and our running backs and they're running the ball and they're toting and uh, O line in which nobody really uh, wanted to give credit to. Thought we were going to be banged up and not going to be as good. Man, they're holding strong. We got an uh, offensive line full of tackles and one center that that that's a, a guard, but you know they're making it work and uh, they're giving Case an opportunity to uh, you know a pocket that's wide open, an opportunity to get rid of football. He's doing that. And this kid, Philip Lindsay, is a revelation, man. It seems like not only is he just hitting the hole and dominating, but he's hitting people after uh, he's running for 10, 15, 20 yards. And then he's barking. He's woofing. He's woofing after every play. Uh, what, what's going on with this kid? The man. I love it. I love it. A lot of people, man, uh, just in, in, in knowing his personality. I mean, Philip, he's from, he's a native of Colorado, and uh, he still stays in his parents' basement. And I, mean, he, I, I tell him all the time, man, you're a superstar, man. He didn't even know he's a superstar. He's a superstar. He just loves to play football. He's passionate about it. Uh, he believes in himself. He's confident. He wants the ball. He wants to make those plays. And when he makes those plays, uh, he's going to let you know he uh, he's coming back for more. And so I like to play with guys like that because I play with guys on the ladder that didn't want the ball and wasn't as confident. Um, and so, you know, to have him in it, bringing that energy to our offense, man, is definitely – it's definitely been fun to watch and fun to be a part of. And, uh, you know, hopefully he continues to do that because it's so, man, he's going to be a, he's going to be a special player. Well, for I, I, us, uh, I knew that he was the real deal, Emmanuel, when, when Terrell Davis said, sure, take my number 30. I mean, that, that, yeah, that meant yeah. something. And now he's in the Maha salute. So <laughs> I'll let you know right there, man, he, he, he kind of gets it uh, in terms of uh, being a true Bronco. Like I say, he's a Colorado native. Is is he the only player you've ever played with, Emmanuel? You're in your ninth season now. Um, is he the only player you've played with who who lives in his parents' basement? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. That's the first time I heard that, and when I heard it, I said, "Man, people are gonna run crazy with that." You, I said, "You about to be a legend for that." He was like, <laughs> he didn't even get what I was saying, but I said, "Man, you about to be a legend once everybody finds out that you still live in your parents' basement and playing in the NFL." So. Um, I actually uh, saw some on Instagram where people were starting to get a hold of it. It's pretty funny. It's pretty cool. So Vaughn doesn't have an extra room in that mansion with his club and everything. He doesn't have a. Doesn't yeah, have a... yeah. I mean, I mean, the guy, the guy makes six hundred thousand. I think he just he just doesn't care. He wants to be a, he wants to be in his parents' basement. <laughs> God bless. He is crushing it. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.